your Savior? Have you tried him as your Savior? Have you tried him as your doctor? Or have you tried him as your doctor? Have you tried him as your lawyer? Or have you tried him as your lawyer? He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Amen. Amen. We're so glad you're here on tonight. Everyone is looking all good and they're white and um, they're here and we're coming to bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So now we're going to have a greeting from missionary Sarah Wallace. And then after that, we're going to have the sunshine man in purity class. Amen. Amen. Well, 
um, we're just uh, glad, like I said, that um, we're that we're all here on tonight to bless the name of God. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, "I'm so glad you're here." Oh, they didn't hear you say, "I'm so glad you're here." Don't let your mask mute your praise. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We come to give God praise. So next we want to call the Sunshine Band and Purity Class. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. We're going to make a brief moderation uh, uh, on, t on the program. We're going to call for uh, the, the calling for the music department to come at this time. Amen. Would you receive Dr. Howard, amen, and the Elijah Kelly Memorial District Music Department. Let's say amen for them as they come. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, come on, y'all. Praise the Lord, everybody. If God's been good to you, why don't you open your mouth and give God a thunderous praise in the place? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I have a praise on the inside. Come on, I don't believe it. Look at your other neighbor and say, neighbor, I have a praise on the inside. And I came to give God my best praise. Come on, open your mouth and give God praise. Come on, shake off that laziness. Open your mouth and give God praise. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, give God praise. God's been too good for us not to give him praise. But we came tonight to make the devil mad and to give God praise. I just wish I had about five people that would open up their mouth, make the devil mad, and give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. God is worthy of every bit of glory. God is worthy of every bit of praise. So we came tonight just to tell God thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Change the atmosphere and give God praise. We are the fire starters. And we came to give God the glory. We came to give him the praise. We came to magnify his name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, let me hear you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the blood still works. Come on, look at your other neighbor and say, neighbor, the blood still works.
the blood still works. Help your hands like you believe it. Come on.
greeting from Missionary Sarah. Watch, watch it now. We're going to have a greeting from Missionary Sarah Wallace. Giving honor to God. To the super <laughs> yes, the blood still works. Hallelujah! 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 I will! 
by Missionary Kawana Hines. And then next where you have Minister of Giving by First Lady Linda Lewis and First Lady Tawana Taylor. Amen. Today, today is our district missionaries day. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Amen. We know what we are here to do. All auxiliaries, please be prepared to give your report. And all missionaries, please be prepared to give your report. And elders, we ask you to follow with us today. And on tomorrow night is our superintendent's night. Amen. That's right, baby. And yes, be prepared, auxiliaries, to give your reports on tomorrow night as well. And ladies, you know what we're going to do. We're going to do our best for our superintendent. These are your observations. God bless you. Mic check. Anybody home? Good evening, y'all. Praise the Lord. God is good, isn't he? Amen. We're here. We are here up to this part of the service to be a blessing to our district missionary on tonight. Our district missionary on tonight, which is, come on, y'all. Come on, ladies. Now, wait a minute now. If you was the district missionary being celebrated, you want folks to holler you out. Come on, let's give a shout out for our district missionary, district missionary Carolyn Bishop on tonight. Amen. She is, she's, she's doing triple duty tonight. And we just thank God for her. The protocol, I think, had been established. But we just want to honor the Lord on tonight. And we want to honor our leader tonight, our superintendent, Superintendent Dexter Lewis. And to all of our pastors, Pastor Edward Taylor, the, the host pastor at this church, Deliverance Chapel Church of God in Christ, and to Pastor Carl E. Brown, Senior, 
Amen. We thank God for him, and we thank God for Pastor Demarion D. Lou Lewis of St. Paul Church of God in Christ, and Pastor Grant on tonight, Rodney Grant on tonight. We thank God for him and his beautiful wife, and to all of the first ladies on tonight, and we want to honor our supervisor. Woo! Woo! Wait a minute, that didn't come out right. Woo! We want to honor Supervisor Irma Parker, our mother of our Texas Northeast Fourth Jurisdictional. Hallelujah. That's our state. And all of the visiting district missionaries that came to support our district missionary tonight. We want them to stand so that they can see you. District Missionary Jessica Lucky. District Missionary Sonetta Robinson. We thank God for District Missionary Pamela Brown. She's doing double duty as well. She is a District Missionary, but they are also supporting and a part of the Elijah Keller Memorial District. We didn't steal her. She still belonged to Nehemiah District, I believe it is, isn't it? Amen. And we just thank God for all of the women of the Lord that came out tonight and our MC on tonight. We thank God for her. And we're going to be a blessing to her on tonight. Don't hold back. Whatever you have, just give it tonight and the Lord will bless you back. We're going to give it into the hand of First Lady Tangela Taylor. She's have words tonight. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. We're going to need your help tonight. Amen. Uh, we're going to ask everyone in the house, amen, that can help us with a $25 offering. Amen. That's not much. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, that's not much. Amen. If you'll do that, I believe we can reach our goal tonight. Amen. 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 God bless you tonight. Into the hands of our superintendent. Say amen. First, giving honor to God and to all of God's people. I thank the Lord for being here. I thank him for my life, health, and strength on tonight. And uh, we come tonight to be a blessing to our district missionary. Uh, we have the only female bishop in the jurisdiction. Yeah, you can go back and tell them I said it too. In the church of God in Christ. And she, we, she's among us and we are honored to have the bishop in the house on tonight. Amen. And we want to come. We want to be a tremendous blessing to her on tonight. Amen. Uh, she just so happened to be the best district missionary in the Kojic church. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. I ain't hiding. I'll say it again. She the best because she ours. Amen. And we want to be a tremendous blessing to her on tonight. I thank God for Mother Bishop. We've never had a crossword. We've never had Mother. We've never had a falling out. She, she never tried to correct me uh, We've got along wonderfully and beautifully, and I thank God for her. Amen. And we want to celebrate her on tonight. On last night, I said when we leave, we want her to be showing us all 28 of them. And she told me she had 32. She told me she had 32. But we want her to show us all of them on tonight. So I need your help. Uh, pastors, I need your help. Congregants, I need your help. We can't do it by ourselves. She represents us in the women department. I'm going to talk to this side because this side ain't talking. She represents us in the women's department. And, and I tell her, I don't want no zeros by EKM district. All right, all right. And, and we don't have any zeros by EKM district. Amen. I need you all to help. She can't represent us if you all don't help her represent us. Ain't, ain't nobody saying nothing. Spin, ceiling, fan, spin. 
but if you help us, then she can represent our district well. Amen. I'm going to start this offering off with two hundred dollars. We'll start this offering off with two hundred dollars, and uh, y'all haven't given me a go, but well, I, 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 my wife gave me a go. So I'm believing like that. My wife, she had the table. She gave me a go. So I'm gonna start the offering off with three hundred dollars. I mean two hundred dollars. I'm gonna start with two hundred dollars, uh, and then. Uh, we're going to receive the pastor's offerings, and then we're going, y'all at the table, first lady, first lady start with 100, first lady start with 100, so uh, we, 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 we got somewhere to go, and I don't want to go there at five miles an hour, I ain't going to get no help tonight, we're going to do it, and we're going to do it well, amen? Amen. So uh, let us bow our heads, stand we, we, that we may bless this offering. Would you please stand? I'm going to ask Pastor Brown come bless this offering. Every head bow, Father, now in Jesus' name. Bless these, thy givers. Bless that receiver, Lord. And we thank you now for the gift that's been given. And we trust now, God, it'll meet every need according to your will and purpose. Thank God. Amen. 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 Pastor Demarion Lewis, $100. Here you go, first lady. That's Chris, boy. Did you print that? Now, uh, missionary, uh, Taylor asks everyone if you could and will, if the Lord is so blessed and so prospered, if you give the Lord a $25 seed on tonight, I'm going to ask you to please do the best you can. Let's give what's been asked of us. Amen. So those of you on my right, would you please stand? All on my right, would you please stand? All the way to the back, would you please stand? Everybody on my right, would you please stand? Uh, can y'all hear me? On my right. Oh, they right, they right, amen. Come bring your love gift. On my left, would you please stand? Those of you on my left, would you please stand? The usher is going to assist you. Uh, come in front of Here's our Pastor Carl Brown, $100. Pastor Rodney Grant, $25. Pastor Edward Taylor, $150. If you need the uh, credit card machine, it's to my left. If you want to give by cash app, it's dollar sign EKM District. Dollar sign EKM District. If you want a text to give, if you want a text to give, it's 972 972 954 4848. 972 954 4848. Amen. Please, please help us. Help us. Help us. Uh, Mission, District Missionary Brown, $50, say amen. Missionary Sonetta Robinson, $50, say amen for her. Amen. Mission Missionary Lucky, $25. Amen, amen. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. Thank you. 
Amen, for our ushers that they come at this time. Amen, amen. Let's see what we are. And thank you for what you've done and for the spirit in which you've done it. Amen. Thank God for... Uh, Choir. Now, now, now they, 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 they stopped me and said, did we get to choir? So uh, y'all get your offering together and pass it on up. Amen, amen. I'm going to ask all the auxiliaries to get ready, all the auxiliaries to make ready that are reporting on tonight. I'm going to ask you to make ready on tonight. Uh, I, I, learned, I learned a while back that God... God never got COVID. <laughs> Amen, everybody. I got God, God never got COVID. Never got COVID. COVID don't bother God. So we want to do what God has called us to do. Amen. Go ahead. From the best music department on this side of heaven. The Elijah Kelly Memorial District Choir represents with $200 for Mother Bishop. All right, come on, come on, auxiliaries, come on. Amen. Praise the Lord. On the behalf of the Sunday School Department, what is the best school, best school in the whole wide world? One more time. I can't hear you. What is the best school in the whole wide world? Sunday School. I'm standing on behalf as a chair lady of the district Sunday School and Pastor Schaffner. When Pastor Schaffner comes, he will represent the Sunday School. will be represented with $200. Right. Let let me say, let me say, Pastor Schaffner is not here tonight. Pastor Schaffner had dental surgery today. He had dental surgery. That's why he's not here. He just sent me a text and told me to give $150 for him. All right? So pay it easy. He'll represent him with $150. Amen. Praise the Lord. In the, on behalf of Mother... Kelly, she's not here, but Mother Kelly is here. And I told her today, don't move your name. And I thank God for all the mothers of the district. And she she wants always want to do what kind of job? A bumper job. So the mother on behalf of the district motherboard, we are turning in $250 to mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, Can't hear you. Can't hear you. There you go. I'm turning in. I can't the put the mic up there. there. you go. A hundred dollars. Amen. People get skirted at mic when they. That mic make people stop talking something. Amen. We're not skirt. We're not skirt. All right. On behalf of Lady Schaffner and the Pastor's Wives Circle, they are turning in twenty no two hundred dollars. Amen. All right. On Amen. behalf of the evangelist department, we are turning in seventy-five dollars. Amen. Anyone there? Amen. The elders and the ministers' wives, amen, we're representing tonight with $125. Elders and ministers' wives. Amen. Make that $150. Make that $150, God bless. All right. Is that all the auxiliaries? Thank you. 
evangelist department make it $100 instead of 75 Just hang, hang in here with us. We'll be through short, but hang in here with us. Saints, we just about where I want to go. We just about where I want to go. Uh, we are three hundred dollars from home. I'm gonna give another hundred. I mean, we're two hundred dollars from home. Will you help me get the two hundred dollars? Just hold up your hand. I'll have the ushers come. Pastor Taylor, another fifty. Uh, we won fifty away from home. Would you help me, please? Here's Pastor Lewis, thank you, sir. Come on, all over the house, all over the house. This is our mother. Come on. There's a hand, Sister Usher. Amen. Amen. Pastor Pastor Brown, another 50. Amen. Here you go. Another 10 from, another 10 from Pastor uh, Grant. Amen. Another 50 from Elder uh, Alexander. And Sister Alexander. Doesn't she look lovely in her fascinator on tonight? Oh, are we just by there? Put those hands together and tell God thank you. All right. We back in the hands of the mistress or so. I blessed it up front. I blessed it up. You all right, baby? You good? You look nice tonight. Say amen for them. We're back in the hands of the mistress of ceremony. Say amen for uh, my daughter. Amen. Missionary Crystal Lewis. Say amen for her. Now we're going to have uh, the introduction of speaker by missionary Adam Alexander, and then we're going to have the uh, ministry of music by the Sunshine Band. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. The scripture said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord, and I'm still glad to be in the house of the Lord on tonight. Hallelujah. The house has already been addressed. Amen. I, I, I am honored to be able to introduce our speaker on tonight. Amen. I was going to text her daughter to ask her daughter something about it, and I thought about it, and I told my husband, I said, no, nah, 
It's something that has to be personal, something that comes from me because I know Mother Bishop. So I thank and I praise God for Mother Bishop. Mother Bishop is a holy woman of God. She teaches and she lives holiness. Amen. It was an honor going through the ordination class for her being my teacher. And even on a personal level, amen, I know Mother Bishop. And Mother Bishop is the same, amen, as in church, amen, and at home. Mother Bishop is the same, amen. And I just thank God to be able to be a part, amen, as one of the missionaries that's up under her leadership, amen. She leads, she she practices what she preach, amen. So I just thank God for this opportunity. I know we in for a treat, amen, on tonight. If you don't know it, you're going to know it tonight, amen. She speaks, amen, nothing what God gives her to speak, and she prays dances also, amen. I remember, <laughs> amen, she is a praise dancer. Whatever the Lord have her to do, Mother Bishop does it, and she does not do it grudgingly, amen. So I just want to thank God, amen, and to introduce to some and to present to others, Mother Carolyn Bishop. Give her a hand as she, when she come after the sunshine band, give her a hand and stand as a token, amen, of appreciation.
is Victory. thank you for the power, the healing and deliverance that's in your son's name. We thank you, O oh God, for the opportunity to become before your people. And O oh God, as we come, we come with a message from you. We pray that the flesh would sit down and let the Holy Spirit have its way. We pray that the Spirit would speak to me, through me, and for me. And that you would get the glory out of this message tonight. Lord, we're so thankful and grateful that they will have an ear to hear and a heart to receive what the Spirit is saying to the church. Now, Lord, I want to thank you. I want to praise you for a sound mind, activities of my limb, life, health, and strength. And we be so careful to give you the honor and give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Pray for me tonight. <laughs> I'm so kind of awkward back here because we're used to down. I think the only time I ever came up here when Pastor Junior got sick one Sunday and I rushed up here, I know, but I wasn't the only one up here, right, Lady Kelly? We got up because the angel was in trouble. I'm so thankful and grateful for this opportunity and it humbles you. I mean, it humbles you. When you see the men of God. Hey, Earl. <laughs> Boy, my children have really surprised me. It humbles you when you sit down and when you stand and you see the people, the men, the pastors, and they show their respect. I have an opportunity to serve this district, the Elijah Kelly Memorial District. I never met 
Elijah Kelly Sr. But God placed me here on the Elijah Kelly Jr. He was my covering because my husband had passed on. And I remember going to him and asking him to be my covering. When I moved down here, I was an evangelist, licensed through the Church of God in Christ. And God sent me here. He sent me here. He sent me here. And I have been blessed spiritually as never before. I still feel the presence of the Lord in the walls of this church because much prayer goes forth. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and before that was Tuesdays and Fridays, the shepherd of the flock would be here in prayer along with Mother Kelly and others. So I thank God that the men thought enough to ask me to be the super, uh, the, uh, no mother, the district missionary. And I don't take this job lightly. I'm held accountable for every word that I say. Every time I teach, I'm held accountable. Every time I moan and groan, I'm held accountable. I don't think I'm better than any other person in this building tonight. As I tell the mothers and the women of God, we all go to the same bathroom. So I'm not high and mighty. I'm just like you. But God saw fit to give me a responsibility. I'm still celebrating. As you all know, my birthday was last week. And I'm yet celebrating. I'm yet celebrating. I'm going to come down in a couple of days, Pastor Brown. But I was so happy and elated with what my children did for me. And when my youngest son flew in from Hawaii, I mean, he shocked me. And when my oldest goddaughter flew in from Chicago, I was thankful and grateful. My stepchildren called. I'm always a saint of God, but I'm always be a mother. And I enjoy being a grandmother and a great-grandmother. May I say this? I never thought in my life I would reach the age of 75. Amen. The reason I said that because all my aunts and everybody Grandmother, great-grandmother all passed away in their early 60s. My mother passed at 77. So when I reached that age, I was so excited. Never thought about it when you're in your third, t 20s and 30s. And you never think about it. But uh, the closer it got to September the 2nd, the happier I got. Because I know I got my health and strength. And then I have my right mind. Hallelujah, and I can take care of myself. And I have a whoo, I have the Holy Ghost down on the inside. Hey. So I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Thank you for taking time out from your busy schedule to help us in this district meeting. Some districts are not meeting. You know, the new thing is hybrid, hybrid, hybrid services. That means you can come in person or you go to the social media. So I'm thankful that I can always come in person. Now saying some, I'm not trying to promote this, but I prefer to be in person. See when pastor, when we were during the summertime when we were meeting outside and we were sitting in the cars, Mother Parker, I was like, I was at the drive in. Tell pastor, say, hunk your horn if you love Jesus. I just like being in the presence of the Lord and in inside. I can see it on Facebook, but it's just not the same. It's just not being there. And especially when the saints go forth in praise. So I'm thankful and I'm grateful for this opportunity. I, I mean, my brethren, 
I appreciate you. They take care of me. I appreciate that. These brethren look out for Mother Parker, they look out for me. And the sisters too. The first ladies, the missionaries, the urchins, everybody. They do what they need to do. So I'm thankful. I hope not to be before you long. But I have a word from the Lord. And I just want to share with you. Our superintendent chose the topic or the theme a time of refreshing from our jurisdictional convocation. And I say, well, Lord, a time of refreshing. Well, that means she had to go in and study a little bit, and the Lord blessed me. Acts 3 and 19 says, Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 16 and 13 says, Watch ye, stand fast in faith. Quiet you like men. Be strong. In other words, be careful. Hold firmly to your faith. Have courage and be strong. I pondered, pondered about this. And it says, repent. Well, I remember back in the day, that's all they preached was repent. And another thing they preached that you don't hear too much about, they preached about hell. And as a young teenager growing up in here, we were afraid to go to hell because we knew hell was a prepared place for the sinner man. When they said repent, well, a lot of folks didn't really understand repent. We just felt that if we could shout and dance that we had repented. It wasn't until I got older and I researched what repented mean, repent. In this scripture, a time of refreshing, my subtopic is, Lord, do it for me. It's time for refreshing for myself. Apostle Paul preached the gospel of the kingdom of God. He told the people, repent, therefore, and be, you may be sit down, Ushers. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. The word refreshing is a Greek word meaning at rest or deliverance from evils of any kind. The Jews of old, in Old Testament times thought that when the awaited Messiah came that there would be times of physical rest and refreshing. They anticipated the times as appeared when they would have rest from their enemies and from the evils of oppression and war and great national prosperity and peace. The message of repentance and lasting change is relevant and just as important today as it was when Peter preached it. Repent. Another character in the Bible was John the Baptist. His message was one word, repent. He didn't go into trying to get fancy themes and sub-themes. One word, repent. That seems to be what we need today, repent. Because folks are doing the same thing that they were doing when they didn't repent and never repent. Some folk have never repented, even today. But we as baptized believers must show the world we will not compromise. We will not step backwards nor give in to the enemy. We will not be scared into unbelief for we know that the God that we serve is powerful. He's omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. He's all powerful, all knowing and everywhere at the same time. God has revealed to us through his word 
his glorious promises. And these promises will sustain us until he returns. People of God, we live in hope and expectation because of the shedding of Jesus' blood and the laying down of his life. God's faithfulness in the past offers encouragement in the present. We can multiply our faith by the testimonies and examples of other believers. My brothers and my sisters, we need testimony service back in our services. Let me repeat that again. We need testimony service back in our service. Well, they're not coming during the week for the teachings, so you need to have testimony service on Sunday morning. We overcome by the word of their testimonies. What do you mean, mother? Why is that so important? Listen, if I'm going through something and somebody else stands up and testifies as to where God has brought them from, that's encouragement to me. What's another reason? Forget not to assemble yourselves. Why? We come for teaching and testimonies. When you come... You receive the word of God and it helps you in your believer's walk of faith. When I know, see, I've never been on drugs, so I don't know. But there's folks sitting right up in here that God delivered them from drugs. And if he, can, if he delivered them, that means he can deliver me too. There's folks sitting in here that's been in abusive relations. I've never been in one, but I remember one Sunday back there in, that, in the bathroom, a sister had testified that the baby's daddy had slapped them back, black in her eye. And she was back in the bathroom. And they came and said, Mother, you need to come in the bathroom. I got up and went in the back. And she was crying. And she was saying how she had the baby in her arm and he knocked her in the face. I never been. But at that particular time, another two other sisters were in that bathroom. And as they came out the stall, they overheard the conversation. And they both said, I've been in an abusive relationship. I wasn't trying to be no wonder. I just stepped back and allowed them to testify to that sister. When you've never been through something, you don't have the experience. I'm not going to try to act like I'm on seventh eight, or eighth or the ninth wonder. I'm going to step back and let those that have been through it because experience is your best teacher. God's faithfulness in the past. Sometimes you're going to have to Push that rewind button. It can replay where God brought you from. You forget and think you made it through all by yourself. But if it wasn't for the twins, mercy and grace, you wouldn't be where you are today. Every morning when I wake up, the first thing I say, Lord, I thank you for your new mercies and your saving grace. Because I am nothing without you. And I will acknowledge you in all my ways. My brothers and my sisters, we got to tell the world that there is hope. When you hear about 10, 9 and 10 year old kids committing suicide because they feel there is no hope for them. It's our responsibility to let them know there is hope in Jesus Christ. Each day I ask God to multiply my faith, increase my trust and my confidence in him. Because without that, as they say, I'm just a ship without a sail, just out in the water, don't know where I'm going. In this day and time, we are bombarded with TV, radio, the internet, newspapers, movies, books, magazine, music, etc. This information, information age is sophisticated, 
that most Christians are unaware of the subliminal assault on their minds. You're looking at all the housewives, the ones from New Jersey, the ones from Miami, the ones from Atlanta, the ones from the Potomac. That's what you're looking at. That's not going to help you. You need the blood of Jesus. Because, see, they're getting paid for lying. Oh, okay. You're not even aware of the message that is coming through that TNV. You're just sitting there looking silly and crazy. And the devil said, ooh, I got another one tonight. You lay down and go to sleep, and here you are dreaming about Nene and Nene and all them folk. Then you wake up one pastor said Sunday, you in all these toxic, toxic relationships. He toxic. Bobo toxic. Baby Junior toxic. Kiwan, Fawana, Suwana, they toxic. The whole thing in a nutshell is you the toxic one. Toxic folk bring like to be around to other toxic folk. Misery loves company. Love company. We must be aware of the fact that we are being mentally manipulated. Yeah. I've never seen so many bipolar folk in all my life. Yeah. The day she'll speak to you, this afternoon she don't even know you. Today she happy. Tomorrow, crazy as Elizabeth. Association brings about a simulation. You round crazy folk, you're going to be crazy. We're manipulated by the circular world with ideas, suggestions, and fashion. Their ideas, their suggestions, and their fashion. What's on the inside is going to show enough show on the outside. We still, Mother Parker, we have sheets here. We will sheet your happy self. You come up here and your sisters are showing, we sheet you. When you bend over, or you stand up and too tight, we sheet you. Because everybody don't have the Holy Ghost. Everybody not strong. So we help you, we sheet you. I hope y'all got some sheets in your all's church. Because we got, we got a whole, two or three little containers of sheets. Some of them are colored. <laughs> but we will sheet you. S-H-E-E-T. Sheet that you put on the bed. Well, we got them to sheet you. We got to keep you honest. We got to keep everybody not strong. See, the enemy works. You sitting there, I, rem not, I, I remember this, I, my son can tell you that. We had some young folk up in Indiana. This guy could preach. He brought his sisters to him. And they were supposed to work the altar with him. And they got up there and they was, they was telling my boys to say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And they had some little tight fitting outfits on. I saw my boys, they just, Trying, <laughs> trying to tear it past. So they was, they were trying. They was trying. On the way home in the car, they say, "Mom," I said, "Whatever." We saw too much. Couldn't keep our minds on what we needed to do. And when they told me that, the next day I told the pastor. I said, "Pastor, he's a good preacher, but tell him his sister's gonna have to sit down. We got to get somebody else because these young men are not strong." 
They're trying to tarry, but with so much flesh on display, they can't reap their objective, which is to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We got to learn how to tell the people, you got to repent. Brothers and my, my brothers and my sisters and everybody, be strong. Be bold to tell them, you need to be saved. You need to repent. Before you know it, your values and your lifestyles are being indirectly reworked and reshaped. The lifestyles of the rich and famous are totally contrary to the teachings of the word of God. Instead of waiting and depending on God, we want everything quick, fast, and in a hurry. The world has mocked God. They had their minds and hearts focused on other people and other things. They have turned a deaf ear to the word of God and his messengers. Money has become their God. Belief in man, not God, has become their religion. And that's why the word of God tells us to save ourselves. It also tells us to put no trust in man, but always trust Jesus Christ. The pursuit of pleasure has become their lifestyle. They would prefer the pleasures of this world than the word of God. Truth and morality are inseparable. Hello. The moral crisis that we are experiencing today is the results of what? Wrong choices. While crime and human suffering are escalating, someone needs to cry out by precept and example, tell the world there is hope and it's in Jesus Christ. Repent for there is help and hope in Jesus. If you repent, if you repent, if you repent, God will hear you. Repentance is being godly sorrow. Not just saying it, but mean it from the depths of your heart. This know also that in the last days, what perilous times shall come. People will love only themselves and money. They will be proud and boast about what they have done themselves. Let me just say this, the cliche, I'm a self-made man or self-made woman. You ain't made nothing but a mess. And you're walking right in it. And everywhere you go, you're leaving mess. Hello. They will be proud and boast about themselves. They would abuse others with insults. They would not obey their parents. That's another, that's another message. They will be ungrateful and against all that is pleasing to God. Their comeback is, it don't take all that. Yes, it took the shedding of Jesus' blood and the laying down of his life so that you could be refreshed and that he would forgive your sin. It took all of that. A holy God expects a holy people. All that he asks us to do is be ye holy for I'm holy. He doesn't ask for anything hard. But the problems, my brothers and sisters, is we're not disciplined enough to follow the word of God. That's all he says, be ye holy, for I'm holy. All unrighteousness is sin. The opposite of what God says is sin. If you read the word of God and know it for yourself, then you can live this holy life. This is a happy life. I don't know nothing about having no hangovers because I wasn't drinking. I don't know about smoking no reef. I never had one. I didn't even inhale no cigarette. I tried it once and liked to choke to death. So I can't tell you about those things. I chose to live the life that I wanted to live. 
My parents were not saved. They were Baptists and Methodists. They did what they wanted to do. And I'd share with people, my mother told me, if you join that sanctified church, I'm going to beat you. And I remember I stayed out as long as I could, Lady Lewis. But one Sunday, I found myself going down to the aisle, down to the altar, and asking God to come in my life. Well, I went on home that afternoon. And when I opened the door and walked in, my mother took one look at me. She said, you joined that sanctified church, didn't you? And as humbly as I know how, I said, yes, ma'am. But let me tell you, when my mother, before she left this world, she was in that hospital bed speaking in tongues. All of my aunts and uncles, ain't nobody in our family ever been sanctified. Why did you have to do it? Well, I did what I, God told me to do. But you better believe before they left this, this world, each one would call me, Carolyn, I need you to come and pray for me. I need you to lay hands on me. When you stand for holiness and righteousness, the respect is right there. You don't have to wear a big button and say, I'm saved. Remember years back, they used to wear them big buttons, I'm saved, and all that. You don't have to do that. Your life speaks for itself. Anyway, anyway, they will have no love for others and refuse to forgive others. Have you ever seen so many folk that have unforgiveness? You know, that's, what, that's what's weighing you down. The word of God said, lose every weight and every sin that so easily beset you. That's why you can't get through. That's why you can't get the Holy Ghost. You got unforgiveness, and you need to stop lying to yourself. When you go to AA, they tell me, my brothers, when you go to AA, you got to admit that you're an alcoholic. Before you get any help, you got to admit, admit that you're a sinner and you need salvation. You got to admit it. You cannot dance over sin. You can't dance around sin. You got to repent. That organ, that's not the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of the living God. And it dwells on the inside. And if your heart is dirty, it will not abide. Because the Holy Spirit does not live in any unclean temple. Just because you dance don't mean you saved. You need to speak in the tongue that the Spirit of God has given you. Don't need to practice and get you a tongue. Because that a tongue, when the devil comes up against you, that tongue that you got is not going to rebuke. The People will turn against their friends. People have no self-control. Shouting and dancing in church and go outside in the parking lot and go to cussing. You need to repent. You need to be saved. Just cause you wear a backward collar don't make you saved. Just because you wear a long dress don't make you saved. You got to live this thing. I told the saints here at the church, you know, in my younger days, I could cut one, or I could cross, I could do, and all that. We were, I was coming home one night from the Holy Convocation, down 35, getting ready to exit. Pleasant run to go home. I told God, I said, ooh, I want my dance back. I said, I used to could dance. Getting older, I ought to be riding, I can't do it. God spoke to me just as clearly. It's not about the dance, but can you give me a life? Ever since then, I don't worry about it. I do my little two-step, and I'm gone. You can do your flip, cross your legs, and do your split. I'm going to still do my little two-step. Because I got a praise down on the inside. 
They will do foolish things without thinking. Instead of loving God, they will love pleasure. If I tell you I'm getting ready to go bowling, y'all going to pack it out tonight. But if I say we're going to pray first, you're going to come late. Intentionally late. Because you don't want to pray. You don't want to pray. They will go on pretending to be devoted to God, but they will refuse to let the devotion ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Steps, and I'm almost finished, steps to receiving refreshing. First of all, you got to repent. Repentance, first top priority. Then secondly, after you've repented, you seek the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And the evidence of the Holy Ghost in the church of God in Christ is speaking in tongues. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's the evidence. That's in our doctrine. That's what the church of God in Christ teach. The evidence of the Holy Ghost is speaking in tongues. Now, how are you going to keep your refreshing once you've received it? You got to hear the word. You got to read the word. You got to study the word. You got to memorize the word. And you got to meditate on the word. And then last but not least, you got to stand on the word. Because when you pray, you say, God, but you say it. None but the pure in heart shall see God. So I'm praying for a pure heart. But you said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them all of them all. But you said, if I delight myself, oh, hey, 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 if I delight myself in the Lord, he'll give me the desires of the heart. But you said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. But you said, a cat on a thousand hills belong to you. But you said, but you say, but you say, who? You got to stand on the word. Eat it. Digest it. And that's your daily bread. Pray for me in Jesus' name. Come on, say, Lord, you said it. Come on, say, Lord, you said it. Come on, say, Lord, you said it. You said it, God. And if you said I believe it. That's settled. Come on, give him a praise. Get a praise in this house. Get a praise in this house. Hallelujah. 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 Ah, God, we thank you. God, we magnify you. God, we glorify you. Everything in us, Lord. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the old way. Thank you for the true way. Do I have some worshipers? Do I have some worshipers? Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. While everyone's standing, while everyone is standing, while everyone is standing, every head bowed, every eye closed. I don't know what your problem, I don't know what the situation, I don't know what you're in need of, but God knows. And God is the answer to every problem to every situation if you're standing in the need of prayer you got something you need God to do for you in your life after a powerful word like that the Holy Ghost is still in the room the Lord is still in the room if you need forgiveness if you need saving if you need healing if you need deliverance we invite you right now to come while the blood is running warm in your veins. 
while your heart is still beating, while God is still talking to you. Will you come? Will you let God do the supernatural and the miraculous in your life? Will you come? But you give God. You tried everything else. Why don't you try Jesus? You've tried everything else. Why don't you try Jesus? Why you have the chance? Why you have the opportunity? Will there be one? Will there be one to come say, Preacher, pray for me? I need prayer. I, I, I need help. I, I need direction. I need healing. Would you come? While you have a chance, while you have an opportunity, will you come? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. The Lord call you home tonight. You can't say you didn't have a chance. You didn't have an opportunity. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated in his presence. Amen. We thank God. Come on back up, preachers. Come on back up, preachers. Amen. Come on. Come on. We thank God for the service on tonight. Thank God for mother. Thank God for the word on tonight. Enjoy it, your mother. Enjoy it, your mother. Enjoy it, your mother. We're going to ask Pastor Brown to receive our after offering. Amen. These services come with an expense, and we need your help. Say amen for Pastor Brown. Lift those hands. Lift those hands. Keep it right that you're doing good. After the word tonight, we appreciate the Lord for all that he have done. That word should have reached you right where you needed the most. Hmm. Somebody say, right where I needed the most. Come on, say it again. Right where I needed the most. If you can, can you stand with me with this $33 offering? And we're going to believe God for each and every one. You're doing it by cash app. You're doing it by other social media needs or means. And we are just trusting that you can help us reach this goal on tonight. If you will, put that gift in your hand all over the building. Oh, yeah. Right now Put that gift in your hand all over the building Right where you are If you are giving by cash app It's on the screen Lord Do it I'll Say it, son. Who is it? Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Do it for me. Do it for me. Right now. Oh, no. Do it for me. Oh. You need to be done right now. Everyone is standing. If you have not given, everyone is standing or given. They will direct you in coming. You have a machine or something that we're swiping for. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I need you to do it right now, Lord. The time may be hard, God, but do it. Do it for mother, do it for my father. Just do it, God. Come on. Oh. My, 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 my. Set man. What you gonna do, Lord? Huh? With my partner racking in pain. Heal me, Lord. Make a way. Everyone has come. Everyone has come. you've done it amen <clears throat> now listen we've been sitting here and we've been enjoying service but mother parker is here with us on tonight i would not dare close this service without letting mother parker greet us amen mother parker is going to come she's going to greet us and immediately after she finished we'll be in the hand of mother bishop let's say from amen for mother parker as she comes Praise the Lord, everybody. Certainly, we do give honor to Superintendent, to pastor of this house, and to all of the uh, district pastors, each of you. To Mother, you, uh, you showed out tonight. We certainly enjoyed the message. I uh, enjoyed myself. Uh, everything that I've heard, everything that I've seen, has been got done to the glory and honor of God, and I appreciate each of you. Continue to pray for me, pray for the jurisdiction. God bless you. We're so thankful for those that have come out, and my sisters in the Lord, my colleagues, the district missionaries, I'm so glad you came to support and to show your love. Mother Parker, on behalf of the women of the Elijah Kelly Memorial District, thank you. Thank you. With 20, 20 21 districts, you chose to come to ours tonight. Thank you. Thank you. To our district first lady. Lady Linda Lewis. Oh, 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 Haley in, involved in this, okay. Thank you so very much. Show my love and appreciation. Sister Davis, to our visiting district missionaries and our other first ladies, Lady Taylor, Sister Luckett, Sister Grant, Lady Taylor, Lady
Lady Lewis. What she got? Okay. Thank you for the opportunity. It comes from my heart. Thank you. To the Urshers, that's on duty, Sister Williams, Sister Collins, Sister Bailey, I appreciate you. To the missionaries, those that came through the class, to the saints at, of Deliverance Chapel, Church of God in Christ, my church, my home church. I love this church, and I love this district. I respect you, my brothers. God bless you. Come on, say praise the Lord. Oh, excuse me. I got up to say that. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow, come on now. Tomorrow night. Get happy. Now, if my name was The Price is Right, and I tell you to come on down, you get all excited and running down, and the people in the audience go to clapping and hollering like they coming down. But tomorrow is superintendent's night. We could not have done what we do if it was not from our superintendent. And may I say this, Mother, he off, he said, oh, you, you straight, you, you, you everything. Make sure I got my reports. My pastor will ask me, Mother, you short or you need some. They make sure I do what I need to do. So I'm thankful. Thank Lady Kelly, I appreciate you. I really do. So Sharon. Bless you. From Round Rock. <laughs> All of you, have, God bless you. Come on, say praise the Lord. But then we enjoy Mother Bishop, our district missionary. Come on, put your hands together for her. We thank God for Mother Bishop. Amen. Can nobody teach you like her? Amen. So we thank God for her. Certainly we want to honor a man, a supervisor of women of Texas Northeast 4. Uh, that is Mother Parker. Amen. Let's say amen for her. Amen. Thank God for you. Tate with me again on tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is our district superintendent's night, and we want to be a blessing to him. Amen. I want all of the elders, all of the elders and ministers, please see me on tomorrow. That means all of you that are part of EKM district. That means you too, Elder Bishop. <laughs> That's my brother. Amen. We want every brother, all of the elders, to please see me with your $40 so we can support our district superintendent. Amen? Come on, y'all. Y'all sound dead here. Come on. Come on. Wake up, somebody. Look at your neighbor and say, wake up, sleeper. Amen. That's what happens when they at my church and they start falling asleep. I just start screaming loud through the mic, mother. I'm going to wake somebody up. Come on, somebody. One brother told me, he said, man, I go in there. I go to sleep. And your child said, you, if you sleep in my church, you dead. Amen, somebody. Come on, say praise the Lord. Back in the hands of our superintendent. We're standing. Father, again, we thank you for this service and we thank you for these, our people. We ask that you look upon us as we prepare to leave this place, but never thine presence go before us. Keep us from all hurt harm and danger. Bring us back again at the appointed time. In the matchless name of Christ, we ask and pray. Thank God. Amen.